Lots of people spend time in making coffee, but one very important aspect when making coffee, obviously, is one, understand your machine and how to maintain your machine, okay? I always like to really clean my machine, not just once I finish the shift, but during the day as you go along. But just take the handle here, I'll show you. Yeah, that basket's <coughs> What happens when you're extracting coffee is lots of coffee oils accumulate in between the basket and the handle itself. So what I always like to teach is at least two, if not, if not three times a day, pop the basket and always wipe the handle and the basket. We just made a few shots, but as you can see already, you have a little bit of coffee sitting here. And you see a little bit of coffee oils. If you've been making coffee for a few hours, this gets quite grubby, quite yeah, it's too much. So at least a few times a day, just run that in hot water, get a cloth, wipe it, put it back. Okay, that will always assure you'll be pulling the best shot, the best flavors you possibly can. Of course, during the night, you should strip down the whole machine again, pop the basket, clean, drop the shower screen or shower foil. Some machine have a little screw, a little screw, you can just unscrew that, which is this one here, for this particular machine, La Marzocco. Now, obviously this one here is nice and shiny, nice and clean. However, some machine get dirtier than others. Now, as you can see, see, it's really filthy. That has, hasn't been cleaned for a while. So what happened, all the holes here, the little holes start getting blocked, okay? So, bear in mind, like, when you're making coffee or when you try any coffee, there's so many variables you go through, it's not even fun. It's not just matter, again, of grinding those and tamping, extracting and doing the milk. The hot for your machine has to be the right temperature. Your machine has to be clean, millions of little variables. But, again, if you look at this basket, see, this heaven, that probably was one of the baskets. That probably was whole day there and no one cleaned. So let's say you finish your work 3.30 in the morning and after no one go and have a coffee and you have the coffee tasting bitter and disgusting. Could be that, very simple. Sometimes you blame the coffee, you blame the, I mean, I suppose you would blame the barista for not being active and cleaning that machine. I know it's boring, but hey, it's like anything else. If you maintain your equipment, that will last for, for a lifetime and you'll be making great coffee for your customers. So make sure you clean your machine. I'll be watching you. Cheers.